Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video, and I'm recording this video immediately after the Howl Base to Olympus that I just recorded, and I'll probably actually post these together uh, instead of spreading them out by several days or a week. And the only reason I'm going to record this video is so that I can just redo what I just did, but this time I'm not going to explain it because all of the explanation is available in the previous video. But since I was concentrating so much on the explanation and not concentrating enough on the flying. I obviously screwed up there at the end and I just want to redo it really quickly. So uh, we're going to do what we did before. Select Phobos. Orbit plane. And we know we need to be at about, uh, you know, over here to where we're at about 55 degrees before we can lift off the base. Getting close to that point. Okay, there we go. That's more than enough. That's uh, almost 56 degrees, so let's lift off. I'm going to go ahead and open the retro doors. And we're lifting up, raising the landing gear. And I'm going to say that's enough hover. So let's turn off the hover engines. Turn off the APU. And I'll bring this view back up so we have a nice large view. We're going to bring up TransX. And we're going to do some stuff in view setup. Again, auto plan off. Grab projection for me. I like it to be on focus in this case. Advanced on, plan type through point, plan encounter, VW over to encounter, draw base no, now we'll target Olympus, draw base yes, Rotation. and we'll get our vessel rotated. It's going to be mostly retrograde. And let's go 50 degrees, because if I recall correctly, 55 was a bit much. Okay, now we're going to engage the main engines when we get over to 60 degrees. Because again, that's going to be 180 degrees from this point. So I'm at 10x. Okay, we're getting very close. Okay, come out of time warp and just make sure everything's lined up. And full power on the main engines. And again, once things look like they're getting close to the bottom, it may help to reduce your engines to maybe halfway so you can slow down the uh, descent of minimum altitude and the drop of the off plane. Okay, I'm going to go to halfway on the engines now. lower them even more and now I can keep an eye on the off-plane distance and the minimum altitude and it looks like the off-plane distance is getting there first so let's pitch up a little bit, which will add more into our retrograde. Okay, 
That'll bring the minimum altitude down a little faster. And now let's catch this way. We're getting really close. Okay, we've got a minimum altitude of 10, but our off-plane distance is a little bit high, so let's pitch around just a little bit this way. This is actually going to raise my altitude a tiny bit, but it's going to bring the off-plane distance down. Okay, now I'll go with that, and then if I pitch back this way just a little, and add in a little bit more main engine, and now it'll bring the minimum altitude down and an off-plane distance. Okay, there we have it. That's basically what we want. Uh, minimum altitude might be a little low, but it'll be fine. Okay, no need to target Phobos anymore, so no orbit. And now we'll warp time forward until we can see our orbit around Mars. And again, as soon as that happens, we're going to lose our off-plane distance, so we're going to want to reselect the base. <coughs> and there it is, we've got our path. So now let's go draw base, no. Target, no base. Target, Olympus, and now turn the base back on, and now we've got our offlane distance. So now we can go prograde. And we can go surface, and begin warping time forward. And I'm going to come over to this view now. Let's close retro doors this time. Okay, getting pretty close. The atmosphere could be affecting the vessel at this point, so let's kind of roll upright. And let's track our position and zoom in a bit. And we're 2,900 kilometers out. And that off-plane distance is going to start changing. It looks like what we may want to do as we're doing that burn earlier, if we, okay, we can see that this is going farther into the negative. So we know that when we hit the atmosphere, our off-plane distance is going to get more into the negative. So that means if we bring the off-plane distance up to, say, positive 10 kilometers, then as we hit the atmosphere, then the off-plane distance will actually be, be getting closer to zero instead of farther away. So that's just an FYI. If I were to do this again, I would bring the off-plane distance all the way to zero and then keep going in the other direction until it was maybe up to 10 kilometers. Okay. Now I do want to glide for a little bit. I don't want to bring up the attitude hold just yet. But I will get it get it ready to go. Because if I start hard braking right now, it may um, it's not going to get me as far over as I want to be. Okay, let's turn the APU on. Oh. Surface controls, and I already forgot if we wanted to... Oh. I believe we wanted to put in a little bit of left bank to bring down the off-plane distance. Yeah, a little bit of left bank. You can see our distance to the base is now just 1,800 kilometers. 
And again, I don't want to climb, so I'm going to go ahead and go inverted for a moment. Because at this velocity, it's only 4,000 meters a second. That's pretty low, you know, for coming into the atmosphere. So I want to make sure my distance to the base gets all the way to, say, 1,000 kilometers before I actually start, you know, hard braking. And my off-plane distance is climbing a bit, so let's bank. And now you can see it's coming down. Now let's... Now it's coming down. And I need some more bank. We're 1,500 kilometers out from the base. And we need some more bank. Actually, I think I'm banking the wrong way. Okay, as soon as the off-plane distance gets to zero, I'm going to roll out and start my angle of attack, attitude hold. Because by then we should be close to a thousand kilometers from the base. Seriously? I did it again? That was close. God. Pay attention, David. Jeez. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and engage the attitude hold. And we're going to bring up arrow brake. And that's not going to work too well at the moment. I'm going to have to uh, go inverted for a bit, and because I'm just I'm climbing way too fast. So the actual landing process is obviously going to be going to need quite a bit of refinement, but the hard part's over. Figuring out, you know, when to leave Phobos and figuring out how to get perfectly lined up with the base. The rest of this is just uh, experience. So I'm going to make sure my vertical speed gets well down into the negative. So 
now we're only 700 kilometers out. We need our altitude to get quite low. Yeah, my timing definitely needs some work. And we're not even at 1G yet. Even though Aero Brakes says our G Max is going to be pretty high, but by the time I roll over, I don't think that'll be the case. Okay, negative uh, vertical speed's coming way down. That's good. Getting lower into the atmosphere. So I should be able to roll over here shortly and re engage the attitude hold without skipping out. Mach 16. G Force is 1.5. Okay, now let's roll over. And... No idea why it says it's open, it's not. Warning, nose code open. Mock 10. Mock 8. It's going to be hard not to overshoot the base because I don't have my calm nav stuff set up. Let me see if I have time to do that. I went to 0.1x. Okay, 114.20. time on this side so we can start here in a bit keeping track okay that's not helpful Mock seven. The only thing about these short landings, relatively short, is that you've got to work quickly. So I need to set more this more stuff up in advance. But again, these are learn with me's, so cut me some slack. One thousand one hundred and forty some kilometers to go. Um, we're going to need to start a retro burning pretty soon. DV, let's put it a thousand. Uh, 
I think we can open the retro doors now. And probably the radiator as well. And we need 81 kilometers at this velocity to slow down in time to reach the base. So we're going to zero everything out. And full power on the main engine, or full power on the retro engines. kilometers from the base. Now I believe if I rotate, I'm trying to think if it's this way or the other way, that will bring these closer together. It might be the other way. I might be rotating the wrong way. Okay, I've, I've botched this pretty good, but first attempt. We're passing the base a little bit. Turn to zero out the forward speed because we need to back up a little bit. We're going past the base off to the side. and get ourselves lined up with where we need to be going and now I need the landing pad I've already selected it. I guess I did have that stuff set up already. Good for me. Rotation. Translation. Okay.
well, this isn't quite what I had in mind when I wanted to do this. But again, at least I got the main thing figured out, which was the lineup with Olympus. But we're using a lot more fuel here toward the end. But it's not going to be a fuel efficient run anyway. Because you're coming in so short that you're going to have to do a lot of main engine braking. Uh, retrograde braking, rather. Let's move forward a little faster. We're still 11 kilometers out from the landing pad. downward descent Information. APU 70%. slowing things down a bit we're only two kilometers from the landing pad Start it fast enough, soon enough. Sloppy. Okay, wheel stop, center of the pad. Turn the APU off, get rid of the noise. Turn on external cooling. So that's the idea of what I'm trying to do here. Leave Phobos, do the retrograde burn slash plane change burn to get lined up with the base, then come down to Mars, be maybe a thousand kilometers 12, uh, 1250 out from the base, do a hard break, then come in and land. It's going to be a tricky, a tricky thing to get just right because once you, 
once you uh, go level, you're you're going to be so close to the base that you're going to be traveling from the looks of things still you know 900 or a thousand meters a second. So it's going to require a pretty large main uh, retrograde retrograde engine brake. So it's going to be tricky to get it all timed out, but but I feel like I've learned what I wanted to learn now. So as far as uh, that part goes, that might be the last video in this series, because um, the rest of it's just going to be practicing the actual timing for uh, the last couple of minutes there. So I hope you enjoyed this series, and... If not, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see you in some other video.